G'day mate, welcome back to Captive Industry with me, Jitty. Today, today we need to finish off our contracts. We got them partially up and running last episode. We got halfway through. We, we, we set up one contract at least. We spoke through the process, um, all the bribes that were involved, but um, we didn't actually get around to, you know, doing the whole contract thing and, and making them sure we had the production to sell off. So um, that's going to be the first thing on today's agenda. Just getting a few little contract things done. At the same time, do you want to mention very, very quickly, uh, we need to thank today's today's member. Today's member, today's person who's chosen to keep the channel ad-free. Get rid of those annoying mid-rolls. And today, I'm going to be thanking Dragolithic. Dragolithic. Even got that one right for a change. Uh, thank you, Dragolithic, for, for becoming a YouTube member. Thank you for choosing the support channel. And thank you for driving this dump truck. Uh, and just going to keep dumping stuff in the sea. Just keep dumping, 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 dumping. All right. Before we get into today's job, uh, there's a few things I need to work out. Um, first off, we have a loose storage that has no animal feed. Yeah, that's an ongoing problem still. Um, we're feeding them mostly, but we, we, we'd like to feed them a little bit more. In saying that, I do have a backup of like eggs and meat and um yeah um we can't really get rid of all the food fast enough it, it's something that we we have an issue with um people don't eat the food fast enough but i do want to fix the problem nonetheless so a couple of things i'm going to be doing uh one we're no longer doing fruit on the left at all um if we're not doing fruit then therefore we're going to get bonus production out from both the wheat and the corn because I'm going to move the fruit to the right-hand side. Why am I moving the fruit to the right-hand side? Well, we keep getting this annoying message up here about uh, having too much vegetables and therefore they can't export. Uh, like this one, it's full of veggies. So I figured, well, if I put them on fruit instead, then that should solve the problem. Um, we're going to get about nine fruit, hopefully, if the fertilization keeps up. I um, actually got shitty fertilizer. We might bring the target down to 90%. Um, just make them a little bit more efficient. Yeah, see, can I deliver all vegetables? That's right, don't plant anymore. Problem solved. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to bring down the fertilization, swap a couple of these across to fruit. Uh, we should get about eight out of each, which is 16, which is 32. Hopefully that's enough. Uh, two more farms. One, oh, two, uh, three, and of course, four. Four. All right. Um, I did have fruit here, and we can see we, we we are aiming for about 34. If I'm getting, what was it? Nine, eight? Uh, 8.2. Um, so that'd be 16. 32. We're close. We're close. We'll, we'll have to monitor it. Um, maybe I need to add one more fruit farm. Maybe I, maybe I don't. But the other thing I want to do is um, all the ones that we're just doing green. So we, we had a manure patch rather than potatoes. I'll swap back to potatoes, because at least now we're burning off the potatoes. But it does mean I need to get fruit up here. Now, there's one problem with getting fruit up here, and that is... Uh, no, I want to go from here to here to here to here. Uh, that is, of course, that fruit happens to come out on a flat belt, just like the veggies. Which means I need to do something about sorting veggies. Yep. Uh, the veggies from the fruit. Now, what I want to do is um, not sort them. Not sort them. I think I've got a wonderful method that shall work. We will find out. Uh, I, I, I think I've got a way where I don't actually have to put sorters on there and, and do the filtering thing. Um, that's what I'm trying to trying to avoid, at least. So, uh, first thing is we're going to have fruit come into that one. Then I'm going to actually have the fruit and the veggie belt. These are both unsorted currently. Uh, come around here, back under the bridge. And do I need it to go under the bridge? I don't really need it to go under the bridge. Just, just, just hang out there for a second. Okay, so my grand plan. My grand plan is I'm going to remove two of these. I'm going to put in... A flat belt balancer. Come on. Right there. And then hopefully get that plug in. Sure, that works. Uh, and then give a priority in on this belt. Which should, 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 hopefully, uh, create a little loop. Where all the veggies go around circles, along with all the fruit. Now, if a veggie is eaten out of one of these, then that's going to create a slot on the belt to have more items go on it. If a piece of fruit is eaten out of one of these, or goes into one of these, then again, it'll create a slot on the belt to feed more stuff. Uh, we're going to have that upgraded conveyor level 2, because that is a conveyor level 2, and it might impact it, it might not. But that's my plan, and because we're going to prioritize in from this belt, it means I should have a loop of food up here that just keeps going round and round circles. Just goes round and round circles forever. 
and therefore the extra food that comes off the farms can't get into these things until well it's eaten at least that's my hope that's my plan i don't know if it's actually going to work or not uh but we can see like it's 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 mostly backed up and then occasionally a bit of a, a bit of veggies veggies disappear in there and then we have oh actually and the belt slows down um we might stop that slowdown because that's going to artificially add gaps to the belt uh there we go we'll try that we'll try that i've got no idea if this will work or not it might work it might work but i do know taking the fruit off the other farms should give us you know more animal feed at the same time plant the potatoes on this side so you've got a couple of gaps and the plan is the hopeful plan is those gaps will create enough gaps that we can get the fruit through and into the into the into the markets off the people no idea if it's going to work we'll, we'll come back in eight months Eight months, eight months and find out. All right, so that's plan number one. Plan number two is uh, straight into contracts. This is empty. This is empty because I emptied it. Um, I decided to turn it off entirely. I, I didn't fill it up because I wanted to rearrange things just a little bit. Um, and since then, I've decided I actually want to re rearrange things a lot. Uh, like, a lot, a lot. Uh, I want to remove everything, uh, including all of that. Because the contract was working well. The contract was working well. Oh, and you just arrived. Uh, well, that's unfortunate. Um, oh, bad luck. Bad luck. Uh, uni. Everything. The contract's working really, 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 really well. All those items just disappeared. That's unfortunate. Okay. Uh, the contract's working really well. I'm really, really happy with it, but... There was one thing, small thing that I overlooked. It was a tiny thing. Um, it's that the ship takes three months to travel from here to wherever we're doing this contract with and then come back. Which means rather than me trying to calculate, trying to make, uh, where are we? Four module. Trying to make 66 parts and get 660 oil and blah, 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 blah. And I figured it'd take like a month, maybe two. You know, well, actually, I was going on this, this and I figured I'd, t I'd send this off and I'd get back 220 crude oil every month. Uh, it turns out I need to calculate it on, well, three months worth of travel plus the unload and load time. Because, you know, obviously we just don't bribe the docksman enough to unload and load faster. So, uh, we're going to plan for a slightly bigger dock. Uh, because I want to move things a little bit faster. So, we're going to put in a dock number six, uh, which I can upgrade to a dock eight later. Can I? I can put you there. Can I go there? No. Okay. So that's the magic tile you're going to go into, which has given us a little bit of room. Uh, we're going to go with a loose module, uh, along with a fluid module. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, and then, can I get my storage tank? I want a storage tank in here. Uh, and then I want a unit storage, a level two in here because i want to bring that in as close and as short as possible hello that's a loose module wrong one uh i want the other type of module cargo docks a unit module that's the one now of course the bigger the modules i use the faster they load and unload so you should probably put in the biggest modules you can but for the moment i'm going to start with little ones i can upgrade them and that's going to sort of be my attitude to the whole thing. I can upgrade them if I need to upgrade them. I probably need to upgrade them. But at the moment, I just want them to exist. Uh, we're going to set you back up to do... Uh, fecal parts. I'm going to set you to load. And we need to assign you back to this contract. Okay. So hopefully the ship comes back with the cargo already loaded on it. I doubt it. But hopefully. You never know. All right. Uh, one thing I do need to do is I do need to get some pipes in here. So we're going to go... Pipe, uh, pipe, pipe. Can I get the next pipe in? Oh, there's a lot of pipes. Um, might have to rethink my pipe analogy. Uh, okay, so let's remove you, 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 and you. Let's put one of those here, here. Okay, uh, here. Yeah, here. Uh, can I remove just that little bit? Cool. Uh, we're gonna go pipe one, pipe two, pipe three, pipe... That's wrong. Cancel. Pipe three. Uh, go away. 
And pipe four. Yeah, that's also wrong. Move forward at all. Excellent. Uh, we're getting there slowly. All right. Uh, pipe one and pipe two. Okay. Uh, that does mean that my big fat pipe needs to come around the outside. At the same time, I'm thinking, as we don't really have any transport in here, we should probably put in a storage tank. You know, we can start with a little one. I can always upgrade it later. Uh, that way or that way. Yeah, in like that. Uh, no matter what, trucks are not going to import or export off this. They are also not going to import crude oil here. We're just going to assume we're never going to run out in that little pipeline. And I want to plug you in under there. Yes, okay. After I've done that, we're going to plug you into the big pipe. Right, so. And then I can remove that big pipe. And we're just going to uni all that so it's all built. Okay, uh, and we're going to be obviously doing a slightly different contract. We're going to have to do the six modules. Six modules. 110 vehicle parts. But the ship takes like three months to travel, and then it takes about a month. Month and a half to fully load it or unload it with the best modules. Um, obviously, I have the, well, I have medium modules, so they're sort of okay. So it's going to take a while to load it and unload it. So I'm, oh, crap. Um, I can't get into that container anymore to add parts. Can oh, can I? Hang on, can I? I doubt it. Incompatible port at start. What do you mean incompatible? Try to plug into that. Don't give me your sass. Uh, okay, so start one tile up, going this direction. Yeah, and you're yeah, not a hope, Judy. Not a hope, Judy. Damn. Overlook the small things. Overlook the smallest things and it comes back and haunts you. Can I? I don't want to delete, delete the whole pipe. I just, I just want to delete a section. Thanks. Okay. Try that again. Unpause the game. That works better. All right. Uh, flat conveyor. Okay. Can I go... Up and F mode into there. All right, now we've done that. Then we'll go back to storage and we'll go for a large fluid storage. And I could probably even add it back exactly where it was. We'll find out in half a sec. No, it says it's blocked. Oh, auto save. We, we thanks. Okay, delete that. Uh, can I go transports a flat conveyor from there up and out of the way? All right. Now I'll put you back. Incompatible type. Is it actually? Is it? Uh, no, I want to come. How many tiles? One, two, three. Nope. One, two, three, four. Okay. I want to come forward a little bit. And then one, two, three, four. Is that right? I think that's right. Well, it's not right. And it also doesn't fit. It was worth a shot. It was worth a shot. Okay. We'll move you forward a tile. Uh, and then we're just going to take you and plug you in there. And then you will connect into there. Cool basically changed nothing apart from uh took a whole bunch of time and a whole bunch of construction parts all right so we're gonna have a ship it's gonna go off it's gonna get stuff it's gonna come back plain and simple nothing too complicated uh the only thing is we've added a big storage dock and it does mean i need to calculate this on about four and a half months not one month not two months so if i need 110 vehicle parts uh over four and a half months let's say it means i need about 24 vehicle parts which is actually really easy to get. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Um, we have some currently. Perfect. Okay, so I need to make vehicle parts. Uh, luckily enough, vehicle parts are relatively easy to make, he says out loud. Uh, we need iron, mechanical parts, and electronics. Plus, for the tier two, we need uh, steel and glass. Okay, so uh, you are electronics. You are mechanical parts. That was okay. Uh, your iron. 
buried in there. Um, getting that iron belt out is just about shy on impossible, but I think I can do it. Uh, as for the other two, it's steel and it's glass. That was really convenient. So, uh, my plan is, bear with me, it is to take this belt of mechanical parts, uh, height two, no, uh, height two R mode, there we go, bring that to there at least. Uh, my second plan is to straighten out this belt, uh, yep, at height two, just pause there for a minute, uh, and then remove uh, that. Go away. And now I can delete things out of the shipyard. I don't have to worry about that shipyard forever. And then to put you beside you. Okay. If I do that, I'm going to need five tiles. Five tiles to get materials in. So one, two, three, four, five tiles. Which means this should be doable. Um, if I can get my electronics and my mechanical parts onto this line, then... Oh, and, and the iron, of course. I should be able to make parts one. So, uh, let's start with the easy one. No, let's start with the hard one. Uh, iron. Iron needs to come out from in here. So, the quickest way is let the AI hopefully do it for you. And we just bring it out to... Well, that's height three. Uh, height two? Height two. Yeah, height two. Uh, two, is that five tiles? That's five tiles. Done. Uh, yeah, you can just go to there. Okay, cool. Uh, electronics, that's, we're just going to run that straight in. Okay, that's super easy. As for mechanical parts, yeah, I'm, uh, oh, look, can you go, oh, that's horrible. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to flatten out the one tile of the glass belt. That's going to be our easiest answer. Uh, we're going to have glass just go down a flat one tile faster, which now means you should control. No. Connect off the right belt, please, JD. That one from there to that. There. Yeah. There. Cool. To there. All right. It's relatively easy when you say it all out, out loud. All right. So plan is going to be iron into that one. Iron into that one, uh, mechanical parts into uh, that one, and into that one, and then finally electronics, we're just going to bring them straight into that one, and then from that one into that one. Okay, uh, I just need to remove the excess being that and that, and that's us done. God, that's a bit of a mess. Um, can I improve that at all before I commit to it? Why don't I come off that tile? Surprisingly, that's better. Hang on. What happens if I come off that tile? No, that's much worse. Never mind. Uh, we're happy with our second choice. Okay, so that's step number one. Um, do I want to build all that? Uh, let's just leave it for there for a minute. Alright. Step number two is making the next part. Now, again, I'm going to need five tiles, and that's going to be the part that's come, going to come back and haul. So one, one, two, three, four, four, five. I need five tiles. So my hope is to get you up to height two to then run this this way. Okay. Uh, actually, no, that's going to fail straight away. All right. Flat for one tile, then height two, and then run it that way. Okay, and then plug that one in there. So that's the high belt. Uh, from there, I need two low belts. On top of that, this area was sort of reserved for potentially another household goods, which is currently broken because I broke the glass belt. So my hope is we're going to plug you straight into there because that's potentially where glass is going to go. Uh, going to run you through to there and then you through to here. Yeah, that should be us. Uh, now the question is, one two three yeah that's that's the problem that's the problem i've got um there's just not enough lateral room um i'm i'm assemb a assembler short so then my next option is to rotate everything and run it this way which is going to lead to a whole different type of spaghetti uh can i remove that remove that remove that and remove that okay so if i put let's start here one two three three 
four. Because uh, we need... You'll make six each. And if I get 24, that should be roughly four months worth. Um, being the turnaround time on the ship. Now, if I upgrade the modules, maybe we can load and unload faster and we can get it... Well, it'll be one ship every four and a half months. Yeah. If I upgrade the modules... Well, currently we're probably doing one every five months because we've got not so great modules here but again like i said if i upgrade the modules in theory we can get the travel time down to about once every four and a half months so i'm all over the place i know i know all right so what i want to do is we're going to bring you out one task and then to height two which is all the way over there and i want it all over there um okay what happens if i pick you all up and i run you actually let's start with giving you a belt across the front yes at least then i'm moving you with a belt intact uh two and three and let's assume i need a one tile gap uh nope slide further forward yeah and those two connectors thankfully won't plug into one another okay uh one tile height two and one two three four five yeah pretty high confidence currently uh okay and then that goes into there all right so that leaves an assembler there and then that leaves glass glass we're going to assume is going to plug into that assembler and then come this way and then go that way that made my life easy steel we can run uh the steel belt that should eventually go there to there that's not too hard having a connector by beside a connector might be we might just Okay, so that means I should be able to come out on the left. Whoop, go away. I should be able to make a connector and come out on the left-hand side. Yeah, a little bit little bit weird, a little bit funny, but, you know, helps to plan ahead, um, unlike this whole build, and we'll run you to there. Okay, so it should be, should be, uh, in plus in, oh, second belt. You're not connecting. Do you not know how to work belts? In. Crap, that's one tile too, too short. And I notice it now. Okay. Go away. And go away. Uh, and go, go away. All right. Please work. Work with me, belt. Cool. Uh, oh, I didn't want to remove that. And you... No. Yes. God, that's horrible. Alright, whatever. Okay. One. Uh, can I get that little bit to go away? Cool. And two and three cool we do have something that sort of pretends to work all right best part is i can then just copy and paste that and we'll just paste it all the way along and then we remove the excess being you and you and you and why you have excess at the back i don't know we'll just blame my uh, dodgy copy and paste skills but in theory you have the right recipe yes paste and you have the right recipe yes paste okay and you can go away because we're not actually building yet. Uh, in theory, we have a done build. And this done little build is going to give us 24. 24 of the vehicle parts. Two. Now, I already have a vehicle part assembly that we convert into vehicle parts three. Which means we have a little bit of extra production. Just a tiny bit. It's not a lot, but it adds up. Uh, which should get us any shortfalls we may have. And if I plug that in there, we should have an output belt as well. Okay, uh, go away. Also, if we are now doing, what is this contract? We're doing 110, and if we call it a five-month turnaround, it means we're getting about 220 crude oil. 220 crude oil is crude oil. Uh, it's about what we're using every month. So if we had a massive import, but then the next massive import is, well, well, actually, it took us a month and a half to unload. That's the thing. You know that's the thing okay uh but do we see parts coming out yeah probably all right 
quick recap uh we do need to make sure that we have enough materials so you're using three steel three steel is not a lot um even though you guys are using two and you're using six so steel belt should be fine glass you guys are using 10 a piece so that's 50 plus we're using another 12 that's 62 okay because i now know it's 62 glass i need to upgrade that belt and that belt and that belt uh, after we've upgraded those we have plenty of throughput last one's gonna be iron we're using 12 24 plus 9 plus 18 oh uh so we're just gonna reach in here and we're gonna upgrade that iron belt and that iron belt that should give us all the throughput we need to keep up with everything and yes we should have we do have vehicle parts coming out they're going to go in there we also have an import off the other one and you are just waiting to load okay so i have vehicle unit module small and the reason i have a small one which is terribly slow is because we don't have to fill the whole module we've only got to do 110 so a little bit a little bit over half a module's worth so we're going to start with a small one. We're going to have to keep an eye on it. Maybe I need to upgrade it to the medium. I technically need to upgrade these ones to a large, but it's more maintenance, it's more people, it's more power. I prefer to avoid it for right now. But with one job done, uh, we need to go move on to the next job, which is the other contract. The other contract we didn't get to last episode, which is glass. And again, it's 360 glass with a six module ship, which is, after I do the maths, and I say four months, four months, four months, um, five months, 4.5 five months it means that i need about 80 glass for 630 coal unfortunately that's a lot less coal than i'd wanted um side note i could just make two ships that is a viable option uh oh wow you go know, right there cannot block by cargo depot six wow it's the first time it's just gone to the first available tile and just worked all right um I will need to grab this pipe, uh, which we're going to have to run all the way along, as always, to about here. Uh, okay, this one we're going to need storage. I need a small storage. Plug straight in there, same as last time. We're going to copy that and paste those settings to there. We're going to set you to truck import off. Uh, and this one is going to be the glass contract. So the glass contract is 360 glass, which means... Where are we? Uh... Cargo docks. I'm going to need a unit module. We're going to go with smalls first. And then the other four are going to be coal, which makes our life a whole lot easier. We only have to count for, well, two different types of products. And also means when balancing unloading coal, it's going to be really easy. Okay. So let's get that built. Also, at the same time, this is my last cargo ship. Um, oh, has a low supply of household goods. How many household goods we're up to? 35 but i did have a cut to production whilst we we're building that uh and you're making six four we're making 40 okay so we'll catch up eventually uh oh 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 could not store all wheat after harvest that's a first oh we did it we did it we have animal feed we have animal feed excellent Okay, uh, back to this problem. Um, all right, so uh, we're going to build you. We're going to assign you a contract, being this contract. Uh, you are set to not take any fuel out. We'll have a ship show up in a second. And let's start with, actually, I need to get glass. All right, glass, 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 glass. Okay, glass is going to be fairly easy. We have this belt of glass here right above our mechanical parts. And logically, we're just going to bring it through to about here, line up with everything else, and then bring it underneath. After it gets underneath, height one. Yeah, height one, right over the top of everything. In theory, trucks don't need to get in here. The fact that there's a pipe going across the way means trucks definitely don't need to get in here. And then, uh, no, height one, please. Yeah. Uh, actually, I don't need your height one. Just go down to the ground level. Uh, we're going to bring you across to here. Now, I do want to add a storage, hopefully. Uh, storage. Storage. Yeah, okay. One's going to fit. Uh, you need to have a chunk to take out the corner of that belt. Just, just, just a little chop out of the corner. Uh, come on. There, there, there. Uh, 
it's not even worth straightening the belt. No. Uh, you, you, you can just, you can literally, we're going to let allow it. We're going to let you literally hug the building. Just make it look, you know, very like subway, uh, not subway, uh, raised, raised, raised railway style. Uh, with a like, you know, you had to move because a building got built around or, or the railway got built around the the the, the raised the, the building ah, words the railway got built around a building that pre-existed uh that's too high good job jenny uh can i remove from there all the way back please uh and then we'll grab from here yeah uh at height one two uh two there and plug that there okay now we're done. All right, we're going to build that. We're going to build that. We're going to build that and those two. All right. So we're going to have a little bit of storage at this end to physically load glass into, the, into these guys. On top of that, yep, that's all being built. On top of that, we're going to need a loose storage. I'm going to go with a nice, simple loose storage number three. Uh, we are going to have transports. Can I have a U-shaped belt? So we're going to go there and there and there and there. See, that makes life easy. Yeah. When it comes to unloading, it's how long it takes to get physically out of the ship. Not how long it takes to get out of these guys. So as long as I have a crappy belt, which is all I need. This is just normal 60 belt. It should be fine. Okay, as long as it gets out of here fast enough. Uh, I just saw a whole pile of areas. Hang on. Mind control has nothing. Oh, if you've got nothing to mine, that sounds horrible. That will do something about straight away. Uh, go empty that. Oh, wow. All that rocks disappeared. Holy crap. You guys have been doing a wonderful job. We're still extremely busy, don't get me wrong, but, you know, we're getting there. All right. So, yeah, I, I just need to have the material out of the ship. If it's in the storage modules, the actual unpacking module, module, modules, that's fine. I mean, if it's in storage, that's fine. It's just going to be physically out of the ship before the ship can leave again. So, after I've done that, I want to take a belt. And we want to aim for, well, the, all the storages. Now, I had hoped, very much hoped... Uh, that we could get more coal in from this. I actually thought it would be like a monthly amount rather than a once every four amount, four months amount. So I don't know. Well, I, I do know currently I don't technically have to upgrade the glass production we have. Um, I do need to turn some of it back on because, well, we've been running at half, half speed the whole time. So I... F. There we go. Uh, I probably need to turn it back on at the very least. Uh, yep, build all that. Uh, which means you are going to get turned on and you are going to get turned on. Because, well, we've gone through a fair bit. But a lot of it's just going on to fill the belt. Like the belt holds 400. These storages hold 400 as well. These guys hold 180 each. It, it all adds up. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to turn on the, the second smelter. It means we're going to start consuming more sand and more things over here, but I don't actually think that's going to be an issue. We're going to get all the coal originally into, well, this, okay, uh, just to run both copper and glass. If, 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 I will add an if, if we can get this alerts over 25%. If I can get it over 25%, I'm going to do one of two things. I'm either going to have trucks physically empty it from here and take it places, or I'll run the coal belts literally right across the factory and in to start feeling, feeding steel and iron. That is an option. Um, I could, in fact, run that belt right now, but I just don't think it's worth the time and the effort, honestly. Um, the other thing I do want to consider is if there's no limit... There's no limit to how many ships you run on some of these, on, on, on any of these trade contracts, okay? You have a flat cost per month, and you have a cost per ship. So, if I double the glass smelters, I could then double the output. Well, technically for two more glass smelters, I could do two more lots of contracts, which is also something to consider. And then I could have that shipment, like, rather than it being once every four and a half, five months, it'd be a shipment every month and a half. Now, it does mean that I'm now looking at like 300 glass for like 500 coal. 500 coal is coal. 
Uh, currently, we're going through production, uh, consumption. We're going through about 200. So if I got a second dock up and running, running the exact same recipe, which I could put, I don't know. Actually, that's the best way to find out. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, so one, two, three, four. 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 Yeah, come on. Four. If I landfilled out to, well, wrong button. Out to about here somewhere. Oh, crap. The nasty red squares, they represent the edge of the map. It's not, it's, it's the edge of the map's weird. Um, the edge of the map, it's, it's sort of like the edge of the map, but not like the edge of the map. Okay. In that case, if I made a dock about here. Okay. That's because it's a building. All right. If I made a dock about here, we could set up the other one, like right beside it. Cannot place the notion. Hang on. Hang on. What about if I put it? <laughs> Can I fit you there? Collision with seawater pump. Blocked by liquid dump or its reserve docking area. Some part needs to be in the ocean. Yeah, we got blockages on the left. But if I slid this out a little bit, then it would be entirely possible, entirely possible, to get a second one right here. Which means I could use the same infrastructure we're using to bring the glass over to one build to bring in the second build. I could also make sure that they share their output in their coal line. So that's something else we need to keep in mind. Uh, no available designations. Really? Oh, that's coal. Oh, that's bad. Uh, we need to keep mining coal, it turns out, like, aggressively. Uh, unfortunately, you don't have any mega excavators. It's all the little guys, but uh, same time, you guys are doing a wonderful job of just, you know, skirting the edge and just clearing off the the, 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 the walls. And, yeah, uh, making a nice highway. All right, um, but it does mean that I've completed my contracts. I've got my contracts up and running. Next episode... I doubt we're going to add another one. I don't know. Maybe maybe I will upgrade this and maybe I'll add another one. Uh, we do have a problem. I don't actually have any extra cargo ships available. So that's the thing. Uh, and actually, I do need to look at their unload speed. So the quicker I get it unloaded, the more often you'll leave. The more often you'll leave, the quicker we'll get resources back. All right. And you have the last module is the slow one. Okay. You're a small all right, we're going to upgrade you, upgrade you, and upgrade you. Because going from a... A small to a medium, they unload 30% faster. Um, technically, it means I need to load it 30% faster as well. So we'll have to upgrade you to a medium as well, and you to a medium as well. But it's a three... So it's actually 10 kilowatt and two people and not quite double the maintenance mm, it's not that expensive to upgrade i am sort of frightened what a large module costs uh do you, do, does this shipyard have larges no, it has mediums as well which is funny because we don't need you probably running nearly as much anymore uh yeah i could probably half that i hope i hope we'll, we'll find out um but yeah i think we're gonna leave this episode here I'm, I'm pretty happy obviously we'd love more coal um if you get to quarter full then we can definitely talk about either having the trucks remove it or running across and run through the other smelters maybe i end up we end up upgrading these to a large module um it means more power more maintenance you're just collecting coal where the hell are you taking where are you taking that the other side of the map I do guess it's super high priority, so fine. Sheesh. This is why I have no diesel. All right, uh, I'm going to call this video here. Otherwise, I'm going to end up staring at this ship forever. But we're at least... Uh, oh, no, you're back already. Okay, so and you're half the amount. And... 60% faster. I don't think it's going to be quite double the speed. Hmm...
funny that they've got all three different speeds. All right, yeah, I'm going to end this video here. We're probably going to end up upgrading this because glass is cheap. Glass is easy, and coal is sort of a vital resource. Also, in my infinite wisdom, I happen to pick the map that had uh, the least amount of coal somehow. I actually picked the map with the least amount of coal. Uh, let's just turn that off. Uh, yeah, the least amount of coal on it, which is probably going to be a mistake because coal's sort of important throughout the whole game. All right, I need to call here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for, for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the very next episode. All right, bye.